This gauntlet match had me speechless. At least the first half. The first half when Seth Rollins was in. This match right here. This was actually, uh, according to Michael Cole, this was one of the longest matches in WWE Raw history. Rollins was in there for well over an hour. He got it, he got it started off with Roman Reigns, and there was a lot of spots where I thought Roman was going to pick up the victory. But no, Rollins got a quick roll-up pin on Roman. It was clean. There was nothing cheap about it. He pulled out a clean victory, and he definitely needs this. I mean, after all, like he's just been in the mid-card level for a good, like, I would say well over a year now. Now, now that he's going into the chamber, he definitely has moment, um, the momentum on his side. John Cena, he ended up coming in next. And Cena, man, he was just beating on him. Like, for a good portion of it, he was just destroying Rollins. But Rollins wasn't giving up. He wasn't giving up. He was going to go all the way. I thought, honestly thought that he was going to go through all six men. Um, but no. Uh, so what happened is um, John Cena, right, he goes for the AA. Rollins kicks up. <sighs> Cena's confused. He's like, what do I have to do? So he goes for the AA on the top turnbuckle, but Rollins ends up countering, and he ended up doing that one move that John Cena does where he rolls up from the ground and then picks him up. Yep, he gave him his own finisher. He gave him the AA, but Cena, yep, he countered. He did. He, he kicked up from the one, two, three, got back up. Next thing you know, curb stop. That's it. Cena was out, and again, there was another clean victory. Two of the best superstars right at least you know in wwe he pulled up t two big wins over two of the biggest superstars on raw so it was and he was pretty much done for man this man was drained i'm telling you by the time he got done with both of them he was in there what was it like a hour and five minutes give or take well, well over an hour um next thing you know elias he pretty much came in he picked off the the bones he yeah it was like he came in, he started working on the leg because you could tell he was suffering from the knee, but it, it didn't stop Rollins. I mean, he was still going over the top rope. He was still just trying to stay in there, but Elias went for his finisher, and there goes Rollins. But, man, I got to say, Rollins, that was impressive, man. That match... That not, what a great night! This is I'm gonna at least like I said for the first half definitely a uh, match. Well, not match, not not I don't know because that NXT Takeover match is pretty epic. But definitely second best match of of the year of 2018 so far. So. Alliance ended up taking out, and then next thing, Finn, Finn Balor comes out, right? Finn Balor comes out. Was it Finn Balor? I'm pretty sure. Yes, Finn Balor came out, and I mean, okay, Elias pretty much dominated like the entire match. He ended up working on his arm for quite a bit, but regardless, Finn Balor was still there. You know, he picked up the victory, hit him with Le Coup de Gras, and out comes the Miz, but out comes the Miz, his entrance music started playing, right, through the entrance stage, but he ended up assaulting him from the back, and he just, again, <laughs> you know Miz will take any measures possible to pull out the victory, and we all know who was there with the Miz, right, come on, you know Miz Starash, they were there, they interfered, and that's what basically cost Finn Balor the match, so he went for the skull crushing finale, and Miz Starash continues, but what do they continue for, they continue for, bro! Braun, Braun Strowman, again, it didn't take much, honestly, like, this was pretty much pure and utter destruction, I mean, he destroyed The Miz, that's it, right, Power Slam, match is over, he had a pretty good promo at the end, <laughs> I loved it, uh, he, he was calling out, um, Brock Lesnar, he's like, you hear me, beastie boy? So he was, so he's ready. He's definitely ready for the Elimination Chamber. After his promo, he ended up coming back into the ring. He, he ended up destroying the entire Mistrage. I mean, he destroyed Bo Dallas. He destroyed Curtis Axel. Miz started running for his life. And, you know, Braun Strowman had to go backstage and grab him. He said, I'm not done with you yet, boy. You're going to get these hands. So really excited for Elimination Chamber. Braun Strowman, man, this guy is just undestroyed. Oh, man, this guy. Okay, I, I know he's not going to win. And I'll give you my predictions later on in the week, but still really excited to see what he's going to do in the chamber. Until next time, everybody.